Hi everyone, Yelena from Just AI, and it's a great pleasure for me to be here with you today. Uh, our company has uh, started to explore voice market back in 2011, and we have our proprietary NLU powered platform, and uh, we develop AI solutions in six languages, and have offices in four countries, including UK, China, and Russia. Today, I would like to uh, share our experience from different conversational AI market and uh, insights from them. So, uh, smart speaker is the fastest growing uh, segment in consumer electronics in the history ever, but uh, smart display is a new leader. So, let's take a look what's going on in different countries and start our journey from China. Talking of China, we can definitely say that uh, this is a new upcoming leader in the industry. Three out of five uh, dominating or globally dominating ecosystem come from China. China uh, started to explore uh, this market actively just two hours, uh, two, uh, two years ago, but this May, Canales claimed that uh, China overtook US in sales and achieved 51% of market share. Uh, the model here is more or less Western style. Uh, the market is shared between uh, three uh, dominating companies, Alibaba, Baidu, and Xiaomi. But the way they do it uh, in China is much more aggressive. They really have a very aggressive competition there. They spent lots of money to win the market, and they all three uh, engage in heavy promotion. For about seventy dollars, uh, Alibaba, for example, is ready to uh, to sell their uh, smart display, Timol Genie, which makes me think that they barely cover their own cost. But there are several more trends uh, in China that distinguish it from any other market in the world. Smart toys and devices for kids, for example. Uh, it was 15 million units sold last year. And let me show you a quick example how a smart toy can become a part of a family and substitute nanny, teacher, and sometimes even parents. Uh, this is BinQ Robot, which was developed in cooperation with Just the Eye and Robot. It can play, uh, tell fairy tales, but also it can teach your kid with geography or math. Another one interesting trend is service robots. Uh, this market is huge and growing. And Chinese companies uh, create uh, departments or even separate companies to work in this area. Thus, we can see uh, service robots in the restaurants, at the hotels, uh, company reception, and even at the airport. For example, in different retail locations, uh, Chinese biggest insurance company, Pinyang, uh, uh, provided a robot to their customer, and this robot greets customers, tells about company products, and already achieved a 50% uh, sales conversion rate. In fact, no, uh, not everyone succeeded on this market. For example, Cheetah Mobile, this is a huge IT company in China. They created a subsidiary company, Arion Star. They spent millions of dollars to develop their own robot and software for that, but still they failed to get any big contract at the moment. So what they did, they just substituted uh, their company reception, uh, reception by the robot as they didn't find any, any better way to use it. Uh, talking about Russia, 
we can say that everything started here about two years ago when Russian top one search engine Yandex created Alice Assistant. It's still dominating ecosystem with 35 million uh, user base and 40,000 developers uh, created skills for Yandex Assistant. But everything changed two months ago when uh, Tinkoff Bank created their Alec assistant named after uh, the company owner. And almost the same time, uh, another one IT giant uh, in Russia, Mail.ru, uh, announced Parousia assistant. This company has decided that it's better not to create uh, a, another one skill for Alice, but it's better to do their own assistant and develop a ecosystem around that. And I must also say that two more companies will uh, announce their own assistant by the end of this year. What's interesting to mention about Russian assistant that all of them have personality. For example, Yandex Alice has a great sense of humor, and Tinkov by Ale uh, Alec by Tinkov is uh, quick-tempered sometimes. It will be really very interesting to see how these guys will split the market. Uh, China conquer market rapidly, but still United States is uh, the main uh, player in the industry and Europe is following. And even uh, European multilingual is not an obstacle for them anymore. For example, uh, Amazon Alexa speaks six European languages and for Google Assistant this uh, number is 10. The most interesting trend uh, here is also about smart displays. Both of the giants uh, who split the market, uh, uh, Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa, uh, focused on branded skills and games. And last November, uh, Amazon announced uh, Amazon Echo Show and then uh, Amazon Presentation Language. This May, during Google I.O., an Interaction Canvas framework was announced. Both of these frameworks uh, give vast opportunities to create voice games for smart displays. And this is a, actually the most interesting uh, market, and uh, companies should think right now how they will uh, enter it, because uh, very soon it will be full for a uh, Full of competitors. In a silent world of Lovecraft's horror, let your own voice be heard. Talk to the characters. This amulet is called the Ancient Sign. It will protect you from the evil spirits. Ready to challenge the ancient horror? Answer questions to take command of the story. He locked us up. He wants to burn down the house. We need to escape. But how? Through the window? Through the roof? Fight the ancient horror with your words. Will you show mercy? Will you free her from her pain? Meet your nightmares and talk to them with the new voice skill by Just AI Lovecraft's World. So this is the example uh, of a game uh, which was created uh, by our company for Google Assistant. So this is how it may look for smart display. So uh, it's time for a, a little summary that uh, voice, uh, voice market is growing rapidly and really fast. And to stay on the roll and be among global leaders, company need to follow three M paths. Multimodality, multilingualism, and multiculturalism. Quick example uh, about the game uh, Yes Sir. Everyone know it, and uh, recently this game uh, blew out uh, Alexa developer uh, community and was on top uh, in USA for, for a long time. Other developers decided to uh, localize it and uh, adopt to local markets. And they added uh, some local specific, uh, localized it into, uh, into the language. And thus, uh, in Russia, for example, a dummy lord game uh, appeared with local setting of Russian 16th century. And for China, Three Kingdom Legend uh, game appeared where you can take part in a war between three kingdoms of third century in China. This is what I'm exactly talking about, that 
voice technology together with a smart display help us to create uh, multimodal games. And we also should think about the language because for United States market is really big, but there are lots of other markets. They are also big. And for this market, sometimes local language may have a crucial importance. And we also should take into account uh, culture specific because we all know that what's, what's acceptable, for example, in one country may be absolutely weird for another. I really hope that this advice will help you to create really global product and be uh, on a global market. Thank you so much.